On Tuesday of this week, Tesla announced that they will be expanding their Nevada Gigafactory, adding a high volume semi truck factory and an additional 100 gigawatt hours of annual 4680 battery cell production. On Wednesday, Elon Musk took the stage in Nevada to share all the juicy details of this expansion and what we can expect. This video is a supercut of Elon's talk at Giga Nevada, where I've removed a lot of the ums and pauses and applause, so we are left with just the most important stuff. I also included detailed timestamps in the description for myself and all of you to be able to revisit this talk in the future, since so many great details and numbers were shared. And at the end, I'll add some of my key takeaways. Without further ado, here's Elon. Well, let me just start off by thanking you all for your hard work and just uh, I want to express my immense admiration and appreciation for everything that you've done to build Giga Nevada and to help revolutionize the world. This factory has made a massive effect on transitioning the world to sustainable energy and it's uh, something you should be incredibly proud of and I'm incredibly proud of you guys for, for doing it. So. Yeah. So we've, we've made incredible progress at Tesla in building this factory and achieving tremendous output of cells, drive units, power electronics, stationary battery packs, but there's more. It's hard to believe that it was almost a decade ago that we started building this place. I mean, I can remember coming out here to the uh, Tahoe Reno Industrial Complex, as it's uh, interestingly named, and it was nothing. There was just rocks. And now we've got this incredible factory. It's the most advanced cell and battery and powertrain factory in the world. I spent so much time in this factory since I actually was camping out on the roof at one point in a little tent just to sort of save time from going to the hotel. It's just a little tent on the roof and live there. It gets pretty cold at night. <laughs> <laughs> but just coming in here and seeing all the snow on the ground, I mean, this is such a beautiful area that we're in. The wild horses, I think people sometimes don't believe me. It's just, it's, it's a basically like paradise around here. I think it's 10,000 wild horses just roaming around, snow on the mountains, Lake Tahoe nearby. Part of this, by the way, is a, a recruiting call for... <laughs> <laughs> because we're, we're gonna need a lot of people. So definitely uh, talk to your friends and family about coming to work here, because uh, we're gonna scale up big time and it's gonna be great. It's interesting to see the original goal. At the time, people thought this was a crazy amount of batteries to make. When we started out, this one factory was set up to build more lithium-ion batteries than the rest of the world combined. And it remains by far the biggest factory in North America. And the reason we built it is because there, there literally weren't enough lithium-ion batteries. Uh, if you took all of the factories on Earth combined, it wouldn't be enough to make electric vehicles at scale. So that's why we concluded we had to build a factory a really big factory, which is why where the Giga part comes in. So it's one of the biggest factories in the world and it's, it's going to get bigger. In 2014, we reprojected 35 gigawatt hours of battery cells and we're there. We've done $6.2 billion of investment, over 5 million square feet, 11,000 team members, and we have 3,200 acres of which we've still only used a small portion. So we've got plenty of room to, to grow. And I should say that what I'm announcing today is actually not the end of it. It's just really phase two. So there's going to be a phase three and, and, and four. I mean, it just takes um, a tremendous amount to transition the world to sustainability. You've got to have giant factories if we are to move the world to a sustainable energy future. So where we are right now is we've made over 7 billion cells. We're actually almost more cells than people. And we've done over three and a half million drive units, so motors and power electronics. We've made a million energy modules for stationary storage. <laughs> exactly, so I always remind people, we also make stationary storage. That's very important. The three elements of a sustainable energy future, the three pillars, are electric vehicles, stationary storage, and then solar and wind. And because solar and wind are intermittent, you have to have the stationary storage to store the power for when the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining. And this is all very doable and will be done and will bring civilization to a sustainable energy future. And in terms of the uh, economic impact, it's really substantial. Six billion dollars of total economic output every year. We've also put 37 million dollars into K-12 education and we're gonna increase that. And it's focused on robotics and sustainability. Once again, thank you for your incredible work to bring us to this point. Thanks to you. So this photo is from our millionth energy module that we made just last Wednesday. The risk of being repetitive, thank you very much. Now all of that was just the beginning. Phase one, at least. <laughs> what we're announcing today is a massive additional investment, and here's a sneak peek of what the factory will look like. Yeah, it's gonna look, so, it's like, sick. <laughs> you know, one of the other things that's really cool is that we actually 
achieved our production goals with basically about half of the space we thought would be needed. Now we're going to fill out the other half and we're on to phase two. We're going to be investing, I should say these are conservative numbers, so we expect to exceed these numbers. I think we'll end up investing over four billion, we're adding another four million square feet of manufacturing space and at least 3,000 direct jobs and I think it'll probably end up being more than that. These are conservative estimates. We're going to do our high volume semi-truck manufacturing here and then we're also adding 100 gigawatt hours of Tesla 4680 cell manufacturing here. And that's just to start. I think long term, we may do as much as 500 gigawatt hours long term. But this increment is 100 gigawatt hours. Hugely important. Game changer. We expect the new cell factory to produce at least 100 gigawatt hours. And as I said, that's, that's really just to begin with. Long term, Tesla is aiming to produce well over 1,000 gigawatt hours, possibly two or 3,000. So this really is just the start. And that's equivalent to one and a half million additional Model 3Y vehicles. They will also be using 4680 for stationary storage as well. And to be clear, this is in addition to our suppliers. When you think about the fact that there's uh, two billion cars and trucks on the road globally, obviously you've got to build a lot of electric vehicles to replace all the gasoline-powered vehicles. And then about as much as needed for stationary storage or sustainable energy. So it's actually really incredible to think about. Yeah, some people have said uh, this is impossible, but uh, you can drive it. <laughs> in fact, we, we already have Tesla semi-truck in use by some of our key customers like Pepsi. So that this year is kind of like the, the limited production of the semi-truck. And then hopefully sometime next year we'll be able to achieve volume production. It's a game changer. Although semi-trucks are only about 1% of the vehicles, they're actually responsible for 20% of the emissions. It's a much bigger effect than you'd think if you just looked at the number of vehicles. It's an essential part of a sustainable energy future. And this is a beast. You can see all the ass up the mountain there. Pretty cool. I'd like to say also a big thank you to the state of Nevada, and I'd like to invite Nevada Governor Joe Lombardo to join me. My biggest takeaway from this presentation is that all of us as Tesla investors just got the new Gigafactory announcement that we've been waiting for. Like it or not, prior to this announcement, Gigafactory Nevada was not considered a Gigafactory by most investors. What I mean by that is if you ask most analysts and retail investors to name Tesla's Gigafactories, most of them would likely tell you about just the big four, Fremont, Shanghai, Austin, and Berlin. Most of them would skip over the factories in New York and Nevada, as well as the mega factory in Lathrop. Up until this point, Tesla has been judged by its ability to produce and deliver vehicles. And Giga Nevada is producing a lot of the components, but it doesn't manufacture the final vehicles. But with this one move, Tesla just added a fifth major gigafactory into the conversation and solidified themselves as more than just a car company. Gigafactory Nevada will now contribute in a meaningful way to Tesla's vehicle sales with the high volume semi-factory. It will also be the primary driver of 4680 cell production, which will feed all parts of Tesla's business, including the energy business, which will begin to differentiate itself this year. My second big takeaway is that they're going to be able to pull this off way faster than they would have if they were to start a new factory somewhere else from scratch. In the full video that Tesla shared on their YouTube page, the governor of Nevada comes on after Elon to talk about all the ways he wants to support Tesla. Now I realize that part of this is him fishing for support from Tesla's network of employees and fans, but a big part of this is his genuine desire to see Tesla succeed and be an asset to the state for years to come. They have the state government's blessing and that means we will likely see this second stage of the factory go up in record time. Maybe Elon's prediction of 50,000 semis produced in 2024 isn't as extreme as we once thought it was. My third and final observation is that Giga Nevada may actually end up being the lifeblood of this next stage of Tesla's business. For so many years, Tesla has been cell constrained and anybody who follows Tesla closely knows how important the 4680 ramp is to Tesla's business. They expect to get more than 100 additional gigawatt hours of production in phase two of this build out and are planning a phase three and a phase four that would get them to 500 gigawatt hours and beyond. Elon even threw out the future goals of 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 gigawatt hours of cell production, but it wasn't clear to me if he was talking about it for just Giga Nevada or all of Tesla's factories combined. My guess is he was referring to the combined output, but we'll have to wait and see on that. But if we just use the 500 gigawatt hour target number, 
That's enough batteries for seven and a half million Model 3 and Y vehicles each year. If Tesla can produce that many cells from just Giga Nevada, this may make Giga Nevada the most important factory to Tesla's business. And add in the fact that the US Inflation Reduction Act is likely to pass along a $45 per kilowatt hour incentive for each cell and module produced, and we are talking about a potential annual incentive of $22.5 billion just from cell production as Giga Nevada gets fully ramped. So I think this week officially put Giga Nevada on the map for Tesla investors, and it will be exciting to see this unfold in the years to come. If you enjoyed today's video and appreciate the painstaking work it took me to cut out all the pauses and dead time in Elon's talk, let me know in the comments below. I personally love re-listening to a lot of Elon's talks and figure this would make it easiest on all of us to revisit this in the future. Thank you for watching.